Well, hello, and welcome to this post yoga chat with uh, with me and Jackie. This is just Andrew doing this little intro because uh, otherwise it would just be jumping in the conversation. I figured I'd give you a little bit of context. So Jackie and I have a new uh, yoga series that we're doing. Jackie is a certified yoga instructor, got her 200 hours in, and we figured it would make sense to uh, to start a new series where she basically teaches me yoga. I've done a little bit of yoga. Um, that is not what this episode is. That yoga episode is posted separately on our YouTube channel. Uh, but this episode was a chat we had right after the yoga session. So we were both, I was at least pretty baked. Um, and we were both just super relaxed and got into some stuff we're going through in our own, in our own lives. Um, some thoughts about a bunch of different things, uncertainty, jumping into stuff, feeling uncomfortable, the benefits of feeling uncomfortable, the, uh, reality of how little we know about how we're perceived or the impact uh, that people have on us or that we have on people. Uh, so it was a super fun chat and I figured, oh, why not turn it into a podcast episode? So that is what you're about to listen to. Uh, it's not super long, but uh, there's a lot of good, good shit in there, I think, at least. Uh, so anyway, I'll stop talking and I hope you enjoy. Yeah, that last one, Living for Yourself, that one yeah, the last two that you guys have put out, because I'm editing it, they're like hitting so hard. <laughs> the living yeah. for yourself certainly did. Yeah, so it's awesome. Wait, is that is that the most recent one? Living for yourself? Yeah, season six, episode eight. Did yeah. it just come out? Uh, yesterday. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'll have to check that one out. It's funny that these are all like from weeks ago. Yeah, it's from like. It was the one you filmed right after the Netherlands, so. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. That was a that was a. I remember that being a fun conversation, but it's so interesting. Like the more that I do this, the less like it's even worth it to try and watch the episode and figure out if I did good or like. I'm like, it just it's becoming more and more obvious that like, I don't know how that's gonna resonate at all. I don't know if it will. Um, I don't even know really what I talked about or if it made sense. And so it's fun, I guess, but it's, it's, I don't know. It's like, I proved to myself that I can't figure it out. And so now it's just like, okay, well, do you want to keep doing it or not? And I do, I'm, I'm having fun. So. Awesome. And it's honestly, it helps me because seeing, knowing what mentality you guys are in and that you're not like preparing for it. And that you're just saying things about your experience, things you're going through. And like, I'm resonating based on my experience. Like, it's not really about you guys, even as much as it is, which is helping me realize, like, it's not about me on the podcast. It's like, whoever's listening is making the most of it. So like, what I talk about, what I say is kind of so much less relevant than it's, I'm starting to recognize how irrelevant it is in the sense of like the point of putting any pressure on like oh i hope i say something insightful because like i don't know what's going to be insightful to anyone and mm -hmm. so it's cool to see you guys in that mentality and being able to watch watch it back and just like how much like i'll relate to a whole episode but it, i won't even know specific things that it is it's just a general theme and i'm like oh yeah yeah like that last one living for yourself it's like if you're trying to get someone to like you or do anything it's like there's manipulation you're trading how much you're being yourself for wanting someone to like you and when you're trying to fit into society it's like we basically sacrifice ourselves entirely in order to do that like what's the real payoff so like i was having all sorts of stuff <laughs> go through my head but yeah so i appreciate i appreciate it a lot it's helping me in a lot of different ways so. well that's good i mean watching you go through that process was definitely I don't know. It makes me feel better too because I'm like, oh shit, Andrew has been doing this and you know, Ray has too and they're fine, you know, and it's grown and like it's resonated and like even when I listen to one of your episodes, I can't even like you were saying, like most of the time I don't even know why it's resonating so deeply or it's like it's not one specific thing you say. So yeah, like it's weird not knowing why or how it's resonating 
it just feels like I don't know what I'm doing or why I'm just here and that's not certain at all and it's very uncomfortable sometimes so I don't know I guess it's just fun constantly throwing myself into that and proving to myself again and again that like yeah, I'm gonna be fine and that's how I felt before this too right it, it turned out completely fine oh yeah so. I'm like realizing like that's when you're your best too is when you're uncomfortable like really uncertain like going into like I find that our best episodes are the ones that I'm most like nervous about going into for like I don't even know why I'm just like feeling a lot and I'm like I have no idea what I'm going to talk about I'm going through insecurities and then I get on and it's just like something starts happening and usually those are better than ones where I'm like yeah feeling good confident it's been a great day let's let's chat a bit it's like it's not that those are bad but there's something to going into it with like a buildup of of feelings and maybe discomfort and whatever and then just like the like spitting out whatever whatever comes out which is which is cool because then it's like you kind of start appreciating the discomfort and the uncertainty and all that good stuff so you're like this it's it's not even that that it's like reassuring because it's a proof of growth but it's like I don't know like this is okay like you understand that those feelings are like that is change happening that in and of itself is change happening and you don't know how that is like you can't even necessarily say that that's growth I guess any change is growth um but yeah it's it's it can be reassuring in those moments for sure of just like fuck I don't know what's going on just to be like okay but it'll work out and you don't know how just show up yeah it's like because I felt like in the last year I've been less comfortable than I've been like for the last seven years you know but then when I look at it, it's like oh well I've grown the most like I've relaxed the most I ever have at any point in my life besides like as a child probably mm -hmm. and so and yet I look at it, I'm like, I've been the most uncomfortable. It's like, huh, maybe there's some crossover there. Maybe there's a theme to that. Maybe there should start being more of a, not that there should be, but there is the potential to be more appreciation for that discomfort and, you know, feeling like, oh my God, I feel like I'm, you know, a teenager again, being insecure about like the most basic little things, like, cause that's like digging into some of that deeper tension in a lot of ways. I know that's definitely a good reminder for me because I don't know I've just been feeling so much like the last couple weeks I mean I kind of told you I felt like I was in an angsty period <laughs> but like that's really true it's just like I'm feeling a lot and like I think back to how I was feeling in September and I was like wow I felt just as free but it had like this like lightness to it and right now it has this like heavy quality to it just like my everyday experience and I'm trying to just relax into that too and recognize that like okay maybe I'm just like like I, I like the metaphor that you guys have used of like checkpoints or like levels or like you you finish the Mario level and then you have to start over again and it's like harder and deeper and like I feel like maybe I like broke through something and then now I'm like dealing with the next layer of shit maybe subconsciously but that's you know just me trying to figure out a reason why I'm just feeling a lot and it's like intense but it's not bad I don't know I I hear yeah. you it's funny too, <laughs> from my perspective not that I'm like maintaining like where is Jackie's relaxation point at this time in space you know but like to to me right now you seem more relaxed than you would have you know thinking back to September or something like I don't know would you have been as chill jumping into a uh, unstructured yoga flow in September as you were today <laughs> yeah definitely not yeah. um yeah so <laughs> yeah it like, is hard. I know like I'm doing fine and I'm not regressing or shit but sometimes it does feel like I'm regressing I am with you I feel that I have felt that a lot recently too like the last few months in a sense like the last six months in a lot of ways but yeah and and yet I know and like probably from an outsider perspective and just being able to watch old videos like 
there's so much more relaxation and it's not that because like you know the feelings of anxiety those i always feel the most but there was a lot of like i had a lot more push and intention and frustration and like enthusiasm in the sense of like wanting to convince someone of something whereas i don't have as much of that anymore but that's not like my main barometer that i use for myself it's more like how anxious do i feel how worried because like that's more that's like deeper for me and in that i've i'm constantly maintaining that whereas the frustration doesn't seem as as personal but i have way less of that or like that you know drive or like even not anger but yeah just like frustration like so much less of that in general so So maybe you don't like well i feel like i resonate with that a lot it's like i don't see or acknowledge the growth in areas of myself that aren't as closely tied to my self-concept right (laughs) it's like these certain things that i identify with that maybe haven't changed or maybe have but like that's what I'm looking at and I'm not seeing the full spectrum of everything. Wow. I never thought about it like that before, but it's exactly that. Yeah. It's It's like the same for insecurity as it is for growth. So like our tunnel visions about our insecurity, that's the only thing we are keeping tabs on, but like all the growth is still happening too. And I've, yeah, like when I sit and think about it, it's like, fuck, yeah, no, I, cause I haven't really thought about it like this before either, but that makes sense that I'm unaware of the growth as much as I'm unaware of, you know, all the other things about myself that I'm unaware of because I've been maintaining a very, you know, narrow point of view. And then it's like, okay, well, if all of that's happening, then I could have like an entirely different perspective of myself that didn't focus on this because this isn't the all and everything of me. It's just what I focus on because it's what I'm most afraid of. But there's so it's like gets diluted when you kind of start being willing to be less certain about that and being willing to notice more things and so then it's not as intense and it's just like a an aspect of you instead of like from my perspective it's been like you know 90 percent of me but really it's just like you know a percent of a percent of a percent that's in this whole big pond of uncertainty and varied perspectives because like literally everyone has a different perspective of me in some unique way shape or form even if they seem similar maybe they're entirely unique and different which is which is fun (laughs) i think it's so interesting too just seeing other people reflect their perceptions of you back at you and you're like i didn't even know i embodied that trait (laughs) i that's not a word i would use to describe myself at all and then that's like the first word that somebody else comes up with that just like and then when you think about that and extend it to every other person in your life like it's like a completely different so so many different perspectives yeah but we fixate on how much have I grown in the direction that I expect myself to grow and that's how we measure our progress um it's so fucking limited wow and I get all bent into shape about (laughs) this little insignificant itty bitty perspective of this like massive unknowable thing that I actually am. So that's crazy. (laughs) And yeah, the false certainty that creates that tunnel vision. And then it's like, we don't notice all the other stuff and even like things we experience, like, you know, if I was thinking about something or saying something, forget what I'm saying, then it takes like a, an extra second. For me to like remember or something and to me it seems like a certain amount of time like it feels like five seconds but the reality of it is like maybe closer to one second and like for everyone who hears it it's going to be a different amount of time too like because it's based on how they're experiencing time because everyone experiences time slightly differently even if it feels similar and we try and like control that shit with clocks and measure measure time and stuff but like everyone's technically experiencing time like even just a smidge differently like no one's actually so everyone's experiencing you like differently and and so we don't even know like how we fucking hear or or how we sound or look or anything so i really am just like alone in my my own world of perspective and like my ideas of everyone is equatable to my idea of myself and everyone has that so like i'm straight up a different person in everyone's lives 
as I am in my own life, which is like, whoa, okay. So what am I so goddamn afraid of? It's just my own judgments and perceptions. Uh, it's just me. It's just me judging me. It's just me holding on to the weight. Oh God. Wow. I really needed to hear that because my ass has been down in the dumps and I'm like, oh, like what was me? Life is life is hard, you know, existence is pain. <laughs> but no, it's just because I'm making it that way. It's it's um, really neutral. But at the same time though, I feel like my whole life I've just viewed my negative emotions as something to be fixed like as like okay I don't feel good how can I feel better and so there is a little bit of like liberation and like empowerment I've been feeling and just being like no I feel like shit like and that's I don't need to know why and I don't need to fix it yeah and then that's what like that's actually a really good reminder for me because it's like <laughs> that's the most empowering thing you can realize like I don't it's like, kind of like I don't care how I feel. It's like, yeah, I feel like garbage right now. I can still do thing the same amount of things in the same sort of way, pretty much is when I'm feeling great. But it's just like the feeling that we fixate on. But like, it doesn't really have to impact actions at all. But we kind of carry it into the actions because we try and fix the feeling instead of like, being like, all right, I'm feeling this. And I'm gonna go and like, as you do shit, the feeling changes, but you don't like the feeling doesn't change from like focusing on the feeling. That's actually what prolongs it. So like, not to say ignore the feeling, but like in a sense, ignore the feeling. And that's how it, how it passes. <laughs> when you, yeah. yeah, it's just like, acknowledge it. Don't try and get rid of it, but don't try and keep it around. That's I think the, the key, because for me, I just wouldn't acknowledge it. I would just like be like, no, I can't be feeling this. And I can't do the things that I want to be doing while I'm feeling this. So yeah, just you can you can carry whatever emotion it is you're feeling with you. And it doesn't have to, you have to give it the power to keep you down, I, I would say. And so, you know, that's why I've been feeling like shit, but I still have been doing all the things that I've been needing to do, maybe like slightly less content, but I'm still like, you know, recording podcast episodes and doing yoga and stuff. So yeah, it's like, all, it's all informing your life as well. Which is, mm -hmm. Yeah, this has been awesome, Jackie. I appreciate it again. I'm excited. Yeah, we can, we'll figure out some sort of schedule and we can even just like start doing this. I don't know once a week at least like i'm good doing it more like i don't know how much you want to like get reps in how much time you got whatever but like whatever you're thinking this is your segment i'm just here to to learn some stuff so